Hey, God bless everyone today. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I, I was listening to that song, Refiner's Fire. I want to be tried by fire, purified. Take whatever you desire. Lord, here's my life. What a wonderful, take whatever he desires, refine me, purify me. Hallelujah. What a blessing to have that heart towards God. And that's a perfect heart towards God. It doesn't mean you're already purified. It means that's a perfect heart and towards God, this genuineness. And uh, I just encourage people to have that towards God. Lord, say this in your heart. Say, Lord, take my heart and purify it, Lord. Hallelujah. Take any desires. Here's my life. I want to be a living sacrifice. Use me, Lord. Change me, Lord, that I might do what worthy of the calling you've called me into, a blessed, holy calling. Lord, lead me in such a way to honor you today. Hallelujah. God bless you all. I want to read something this morning. Praise the Lord or this afternoon, whatever, whatever time you read this. See this. Romans chapter six, it says, what shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin? that grace may abound. It says, God forbid, how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not that so many of us were baptized into the Jesus Christ, were baptized into his death? Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. Hallelujah. If you've struggling or you've been in sins, confess your sins. And God's a just God to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. A lot of people like to say we're not perfect in um and you might be right, but is your heart right towards God? Do you want to continue in your sin or do you really want to turn from them? Hallelujah. You got to confess them and forsake them and do them no more and seek to do them no more. You know, and, and I've struggled many times for, um, you know, many times on many different things. But I just want to encourage you today that God will give us the grace and strength to overcome. We can overcome in the name of Jesus today. If he says it in his word, grace reigns. We should no longer serve sin. You are members to sin, then grace reigns. We believe that. Say, Lord, help my unbelief. I believe grace reigns. Empower me. Strengthen me so I might not yield my members to uncleanness in my body, but yield them to you, Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord today. I hope everybody has a blessed and wonderful day, and I hope that word blesses you today. So we don't, it's not, it's not grace for us to go and sin. It's, it's grace to empower us not to sin anymore. And if you do make a mistake, not, I'm saying this so you don't make a mistake, but if you do, the Bible says, so we sin no more, but if you have make a mistake, then you go confess and God is a just God to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Get it off of you, forsake it, hallelujah, and then go to do it no more and thank God and don't be condemned and just praise the Lord because he's a gracious God. He knows your heart, hallelujah. God bless you all. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Stay strong in the face that he may keep us steadfast. God bless you all.